at the minute. The only thing I can see and feel is pain. That's it. It's nothing else. So I hope with this knife I can once again release the happiness. <laughs> once more. A bit more happiness again. <laughs> Is it happiness again? <laughs> I've released the happiness again. <laughs> I've released the happiness of myself. And now, It is time to release the happiness in others. Too long have we all been depressed of the world becoming shit as it is now. I can just release the happiness in everyone. Everything will be all better. Everything will be all nice, well and good again. And doesn't that sound better? Doesn't that sound, you know, what we all want? After all the false promises and that, that we have had, that we have suffered together. I have found a way to release them. <laughs> Look at me, I have released my own happiness again. It has been lost for so long now. I have forgotten what it had felt like. But now I realise what it is again. I can <laughs> be a joy. Everything is all good. It's all good again. All good. And happy. So happy. So very happy. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
time to finally put it out of its misery. Let's try and put the safety back on this knife because uh, this Stangley knife is pretty much the sharpest knife I have. Come on! There we go. Safety first. Ah yes, it has arrived safely. What is it? Oh, it's this. Yay, finally. Uh, I have got all of the 2009 San Diego Comic Cons. So yes, this is the black and white. Um, Dark Invasion of Earth, or first got done Dalek set. This is, as it says here, black and white. Also, San Diego Comic Con. This is clearly something, you know, that I've added as an afterthought, as a sort of sticker thing. That doesn't, that's uh, slightly off. Whereas on later ones, it was just printed as part of the back print. Let's have a look at this. And have a nice look at the figures. Because I'm probably not going to review them. Because I'm no way on earth am I taking these out of the box. I am not opening this. Why am I whispering? Dunno. Interestingly, this is painted uh, in the same sort of grey colour that uh, the later sort of standard Dalek from Dark Invasion of Earth was painted. So we'll look at Bill Hartnell. Yeah, they do look really nice. And the Dalek having the correct black on the eye stalk. I am filming this bit in 4K, by the way. So it should be nice and crispy. Yeah. Very nice, and my number, which is 763. Let me know what your number is, and let me know how much I care about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, obviously, how much did I pay for this thing, this thing? go for quite a lot these days. Well, um, I paid £40 plus a fine for postage, so £45, so not a bad price, I mean, not the most amazing price, but, you know, £40 plus a fine for postage, I'd say, yeah, that's about right, that's about what I was uh, willing, you know, to fork out for this, because some people on eBay are not, are usually putting it around the 60 to 70 pound price tag, which is a uh, bit much, you know, for this really, because all they are is just repaints. But you know, 40, 40 quid, 45, yeah, that's about right. And it is, they are really nice, and it does look really nice to have it in person. Just to look how huge that bubble is absolutely massive, that bubble. So, yeah. Regardless, it's nice to have the figures. Finally, after all this time. So nice. There we go, we're in focus again, that's lovely. But uh, yeah, um, let me know what you think of these ones, and um, I don't know. Yay! Right, I don't know how well this is angling, um, but Got a package. All I've done here so far is uh, just remove my dress, but it's in this blue plastic. Oh! Ah! I think I know what this is. Yeah, that should be a clue. Yes, it is. It is VHS's. For me to do my commission for Reese. That's what it is. Well, well, well. Here we are again. A package, a knife, and a bit of opening. And uh, pulls out. Oh, there is. 
plastic line. Lovely. Let's just check there's no... No, there's no invoice, okay. Well, hey, here we are. So, got to the 10th Doctor Adventures, Volume 3. I've already listened to this, and I've already done a review on this. So, yeah, <laughs> so it's actually not a lot to it. Um, let's get Vortex Magazine. I don't know who reads them, but you can get these also digitally for free, so... Yeah, eh, it is what it is, but yeah, uh, am I opening this? No, I'm keeping it sealed, I like to keep these uh, sealed, I don't open them unless I have to, but here's my number, number 240 out of 5,000, so uh, yeah, quite a fairly early one in the run. But we can see all the information uh, on the back here. Pause to read it in your own time. So yeah, the Tank Top Adventures uh, Volume 3. I'll give my sort of brief overviews on it. It's far better than Volume 2. And I can see it's about on par with Volume 1. Uh, I can see Normal Peace is probably the best story out of them and... One mile down is definitely the weakest. And with uh, Creeping Death creeping into sort of the middle. So, yeah. But it is one of these, you know, limited edition packaging sort of things. Will this one sell out um, quickly like Volume 1 did? Or will it just continue to linger on and on and on and on and on like a lot of the others have? No, only time will tell. Look at the artwork. For some reason, it all seems slightly shifted. You know, it, I don't like the fact that the tenth Doctor and Don and all the characters are slightly off center on it. Look, does look a bit weird, and it is complete with shit logo. And seriously, that, that just that logo it just looks really out of place with the rest of it. I wish, you know, for a limited edition box set. Because the thing is, um, I've got, I've already listened to this because you get it digitally as well for free with Big Finish. And um, there are alternate uh, artwork covers, not for the main cover, but for the individual stories where it has the Tenant Era logo. So, yeah, I don't know why, don't know why they, uh, I mean, I guess they're trying to get on the good side of the BBC in using their shitty logo on everything. To try and tie it all in, but Big Finish is a niche market. It is, and it, you know, will always be because how many people do you know that listen to audio dramas? Admittedly, it is more than it used to be with the rise of podcasts and stuff like that, but still not as many as you'd think or want. But yeah, this is what it is. It's fine. It's it's bloody expensive, uh, but since I pre-ordered it, I got free delivery and the cheaper price of uh, 35 quid. I will not pay anything more for this. This is a a uh, five-disc set, though, but yeah, I wouldn't pay anything more than that for this box set. End of... I first of all apologise if you can um, hear someone with a drill outside. Unfortunately, I've literally been waiting around for ages to try and unbox this, but uh, <laughs> it's just not going away. So, unfortunately, you know, if you can hear someone drilling outside, sorry about that. Can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's in this box. I've got an idea, but the thing is, so it says, return to BBC... Worldwide, which it's like, what? I didn't order anything from them. I don't think now there is a possibility about this, which I'm not sure about, but anyway, it's what I think it could be plastic lined. That should be my catcher. Ah, oh, it is what I thought. Okay, so yes, let's get this out. Get these out. Ooh, lovely. 
So these cost me £12.50 each on eBay. And if we have had a little bit of a taking about, but if I actually just take one of these out, oh, they're 180 gram vinyl. But if we have a look, these are the test pressing for Doctor Who Destiny of the Daleks. So you can see there's nothing written on the other side. So yeah, these are test <clears throat> pressing for Destiny. Now I wasn't, and actually these sleeves are actually pretty nice sleeves actually. So, and this one, get this the right way around. This one is for Galaxy 4. This is side C and D. So yeah, these are the recently released uh, Galaxy 4 ones, at least recently at the time of recording this. But these are the test pressings of it. Here are the uh, other two sides for it as well. But yeah, um, for those who don't know, I do have the regular versions of both. But it is nice to actually have these ones. And these were, this one actually might not be 180 gram. That is weird. This one isn't 180 gram, this one. Oh, it might be, I don't know. Might be 145. Something's Destiny side C. But uh, yeah, these were cheaper than actually uh, just buying the regular versions. Uh, which you can still find. It's, um, June, by the way, the end of June when I'm recording this. Um, it is June 27th at the time of recording this, so yeah. But anyway, I'm glad to have these, actually. Yeah, nice to have. Happy days. I have got an envelope here. And uh, I'm doing this outside. Do you like it? Okay. I'm also doing this handheld outside. This is clever. This is not at all, you know, laziness or can't be acidness. DX cracked. I'll have to check in the original picture, but I don't think it was in the picture. But yeah, this is the secrets of Doctor Who. And uh, I am going to digitise this. Oh, that's nice. It's got a Dolby noise reduction, which is good. Yeah, this is ferric. Type 1 ferret tape. And it just popped out of this thing. But actually, well, I did. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what it is, to be honest. I just saw it on eBay. It was pretty cheap. And uh, I bought it. I don't know whether you can hear this on hot books. I've got the window open again because it's too fucking hot again. And there are children outside having fun playing. I fucking hate it. It's so fuck. Seriously, it's fucking irritating. But anyway, I've got a package to open. It's a couple of cassettes. Yay! So uh, this one, the Doctor Who 25th Anniversary album. Fuck. Jesus, all that bloody screaming. But uh, let's, let's open this one up. And uh, we'll get a good look at the track listing. So Doctor Who Tardis, Doctor Who... Okay. So there's no real point in me digitising this since the tracks are regularly available. Oh, oh, hello. That is interesting. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but you can obviously see it here. It's on chrome tape. 
So that is uh, pretty good. Um, and it's the BBC release as well, which is odd because normally the BBC releases are pretty shit. So they're normally on very cheap ferric tape. But uh, this one is on chrome tape and has um, Dolby noise reduction. The David Banks one, this will probably uh, be chrome, yeah. With Dolby, does that so? Yeah, as the Dolby B noise reduction. So, yeah, that's all good. Um, I paid, I think, five to six pound each for these. So, yay for that. And uh, I think the delivery was only like a quid as well. Well, yeah. Ask just, just them. <clears throat> uh, blah, blah. I'm actually going to shut that window because that is fucking irritating. I don't really bother to film this one. So there it is. Um, I probably... I am planning on doing a review on this. Uh, so that'll already be up by the time that this is going up. But yeah, if you want to know my brief thoughts, it's a decent enough box set, actually. I quite like this one. Yeah. I don't know why it doesn't list the stories on the back. Um, I don't know. Uh, as with all of my big finishes... Uh, CD releases. I'm not opening it. So there's pretty pretty much no point uh, in me opening this. Basically, the main reason I get these is basically they're not much more than just buying the digital copy on its own. So I I always go well. I might as well have the you know the physical copy. But I'm, I gotta say that I'm really disappointed with these. Like even the cardboard around it. Is getting a lot thinner, a lot cheaper. You know, these physical releases are getting pretty, uh, pretty basic. Also, this is my old tablet case, and this is my old tablet. So, if you're wondering why, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, basically, um, it looks worse on camera than it does in real life. That's the colour it was. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Because I, I'm at my granny's. Maybe it was this musket that did that. I don't know. Maybe it was this ketchup. Maybe it was a combination uh, of the both of them. Yeah. That's... Um, I should probably comment on this. The Warmaster's laser screwdriver looks utter shit. It really does. Like, it's pretty much like they got whoever designed the 13th Dr. Sonic screwdriver to design this. It's like that. Nice of the 8th Dr. Sonic. What the fuck is that thing? So, yes, uh, that does look shit. But they do use the same. Uh, as well as, uh, I think a TCE works. Better fit, uh, Derek Jacobi's War Master. Yeah, and also the covers are bloody basic. This cover is really basic. I mean, you've got Derek Jacobi, you know, as the eighth Doctor. Paul McGang, no, like Derek Jacobi is the War Master. Paul McGang is the eighth Doctor, and then just saw, ooh, two planets explode, explode. To be honest, that isn't really... It is just like a random backdrop. You can hear a plane going by in the Giscans. It's just like... Uh, it's a bit of a lazy effort, to be honest. And it looks almost identical, really, to uh, the background uh, for the War Master Volume 2. If this didn't have a Volume 3, or if it didn't have Paul McGann, you'd be thinking, oh, this is why the... Ones from Volume Two, but no, it's because seriously, I guess very similar background to this. 
it just seems like they don't put any effort into their covers um, anymore, really. Apart from, uh, so, like, yeah, to be honest, most of them are just pretty lazy. This this one especially is pretty lazy. I mean, that generic stock picture of Paul McGann from Night of the Doctor, I don't know how many times Big Finish have used that. The one, the one of Derek Jacobi, I mean, eh, fine. But it looks very similar to other ones. Yeah. Alright, so, quick little one here. Um, I got another uh, Fourth Doctor and TARDIS set uh, from B&M. This is my third one. And the way, I wasn't planning on getting another one, but uh, these were recently reduced to uh, £10 from um, 20 so, essentially, half price. Um, now, at the time of recording this, I believe... Yeah, it's the 6th of July? 6th, 7th of July? No, 7th, I think, today. Of uh, July, so... You know, your B&M will probably not have... Well, I can guarantee B&M will have completely sold out of these by the time you're seeing this months and months later. But, uh, yeah... It's interesting though, this is cheaper now than the three packs. The three packs, the three figure three packs from um, that were reissued at the start of uh, 2018 in February when this came out. Uh, they're only reduced to £12, which is weird. Yeah. So this is a better buy. The prices though, of those figure three packs, keeps going down. Um, every month, though, uh, because they were reduced to, I think, um, sixteen pound, then fourteen, now twelve. So I imagine they'll probably go down. I'd say probably to about ten. Uh, when the new packs come out, the new figures and that, just to essentially just clear the shelves of them, or maybe they won't. I don't know, depending on how many of them they sell. But I do know even now not every B and M has these in. Um so yeah. Happy days. Okay, got a box here. And uh got some scissors. <laughs> Okay, so, this is the only thing in the box. Now, what, pray tell, do you think this is? I can probably snip that end. Piece off there. Well, it's not packing peanuts in there, so this is fine. So here it is. This is a fourth Doctor Sonic screwdriver replica, um, which is a homemade one I bought off eBay for uh, fifty quid. Oh, good! The heck does turn. There we go. Turn it that way. That's the way I prefer it. And um. Yeah, I do really like it. The only thing is, there is a slight little ding just there on it. Um, well, on that, it looks pretty good. You can see, actually, in here, the spring 
mechanism and that though it does feel pretty solid and pretty weighty um i've got a fifth doctor sonic screwdriver toy just compare it to the spring on this is very strong very strong and very powerful but it does have a nice sort of clack to it but yeah this is a very nice sonic uh, is the head removable I'm not sure, but I don't want to try it. Okay, probably. I'll pull it all the way down like that. It probably is, actually. Yeah. Okay. So I could probably remove this head entirely, though I'm not going to. There we go. But yeah... It's not bad, actually. Uh, not that. It's pretty. It's decent enough. I quite like it. Um, I know some people in the comics are going to go, "Oh, this is wrong with this," and "Oh, it's too expensive." And this is like, but actually, for something for a metal replica, that's you know, supposedly this is a homemade one. It's actually pretty decent. So yeah. Okay, so kind of fucked up a bit last time uh, with this recording. Basically, you missed me opening a packet and we got to this stage. So, yeah, this is Doctor Who. Ah, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe if we turn on manual focus. There we are. So, this is Doctor Who Origins of the Cybermen, uh, written and read by David Banks on CD. And this thing is still sealed, which is quite impressive. So, there's information on the back that I'm sure, sure, absolutely positive you'd love to read. Do it now, please. With more information there. And I do like the comic book artwork on the front. That Cyberman there looks a bit odd. That one looks very long, just like... And it's 50 minute wrong time. So, yeah. Uh, basically, not a huge amount to say on this, actually. Because I haven't listened to it. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to open this. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can either find it online or get another one. Because this cost me, uh, I think, about four quid. Yeah, I think this cost me about four pound. So I don't really want to open it. Yeah. But anyway, what do you think of the video quality and... Uh, the microphone because both of which are new and this is the first time I am using them so still getting used to it because this is the first time I've ever recorded anything with it so yeah but it is nice to have this at last at last at last at last uh, because I was going to get it on cassette but then I didn't realize that they actually released it on CD so yeah saves me a digital conversion Okay, so, we've got a box here, and the good old Stanley knife. So, I think you know how this works right now. We got it. We get into it. And there'll be something inside. Ooh. I'll do, yeah. Uh, put the safety... Back on the knife. We wouldn't want us having any little accidents, would we? Thought we'd not. Already you'll be able to see exactly what it is. And I can hear a lot of rattling. So yes, um 
It's a Daypol reproduction Marx Dalek. In its box, which does look pretty damn good. There you go, let's just take a look. Doctor Who, the mysterious Daleks. Battery operated. With amazing robot action. So yeah, I've pretty much reviewed uh, practically all of these. And you can see the colour is black because that is the only Daypol uh, reproduction one I do not have. So yeah. So anyway, let's open it. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, this cost me, uh, I think it was, yeah, £23 including delivery, which is not a bad price. You can see here we've got uh, the plunger and the gun, which I will just place there. So they must have been the thing rattling around. Uh, History of Mark's Toys, which I'm sure all of you will absolutely love to read so yeah read it boys you know you want to and again can see it a bit more clearly this time so this is number 771 out of 10,000 certificate of authenticity again information just a load of information Information. Information is the key. The key to the world. And shit. So yeah, that's nice. I do like it when it has these certificates of authenticity. And, oh, how can I forget? The eye. Uh, if we can focus on that, that would be nice. There we are, there's the eye. So that's nice. Uh, the plunger, the gun, and the eye are never quite the same on each one. They're always a variety of different colours for reasons. I don't know why. I guess it must be Deer Plugger's using whatever parts they have. So yeah, uh, that box is now empty. And here it is. It's, this is in actually really good condition, this. To be honest, um, it looks pretty much brand new. To be honest, it looks really nice and really well done. So uh, on the bus, ah, and this is good. The metal switch. Um, can focus. So always make sure it has the metal switch on there. And is the battery compartment clean? Yes, it is. I thought it was rusty, though it is just um, a sort of uh, copper colour. It does look like it's rusty, but trust me, they're nice and shiny. So, nice clean battery compartment. So, hey, that's always good. Uh, do I have any batteries? Hmm. I don't think I do. Oh, hang on. I can't remember. Does this take double or triple E? As if it's triple E, I could use the batteries um, out of my... No. No, so it is double E. Okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. Do I have any double A's anywhere? Um, inherently not. As a parent. Uh, no, I don't seem... Yeah... My AA batteries are all gone. Dead. Oh well. I assume it, it most likely does work. Actually, oh wait a minute. Of course, my talking Daleks. Oh, I took the battery out of it. Uh, did I take the battery out of all of them? Oh god, have I taken the batteries out of all my Daleks? Oh, oh, we have one, we have one, uh, I don't know if this will be able to work on just one battery, um, oh, and another, okay, 
I have no idea whether these batteries have any juice in them, but we are about to find out. So yeah, they're, again, these Mark Starks are pretty much nearly exact reproductions. And the reason they're nearly is because um, Deerpol had to modify the battery compartment uh, in order so it's basically the old type of C batteries didn't have any sort of protective plastic wrapping around them like they do today. They were just bare metal, so anyway. And clearly, he works. Uh, my god, those batteries must have a load of juice in them. So yeah, uh, yeah. let's get those batteries out. Uh, the battery compartment is very stiff on these. Uh, the battery's only just fixed. Uh, I do recommend the Sony ones because the Sony ones don't have very thick wrapping around them like Duracell. Uh, so they are good for these older uh, toys. For example, um, the the product enterprise we do control ones and obviously these staple ones but also I noticed on this one uh, the gun and the plunger are, not, are a better fix actually on this one and we'll put the eye in as well so here we are let's have a look at it yes that does look very nice very sharp de sealing there even though it is woefully inaccurate, it doesn't stop it from being a nice little uh, collector's item nonetheless. So, yeah. Kind of like my mini review on this. So this is basically, I now have um, all of the regular Daypol ones. Um, I do not have the rare versions of these that have the coloured hemispheres. But I do have, you know, the standard limited ones so yay happy days okay so got a little package here and so, uh, open it up and things are falling out so thank you. yeah that's all out of there okay bubble wrap it's a weird pinkish color Nice to know. And uh, a thank you for your purchase. Good to know. So, um, I've got three cassettes here. So, the first one is... Who's the real Sylvester McCoy? In fact, actually, you know what? I'm going to line these up. There we go. And uh, we'll grab the camera. So we can have a good look at these, eh? Alright, so first one is um, the re Who's the Real McCoy? Uh, so it's basically the, an interview with David Banks and then two other David Banks cassettes. Uh, the Archive takes the Cyber Nomads and also. Oh, keep going out of focus. The Early Cybermen. back over here great um, so yeah and just having a look at them they are supposed to be in uh, good condition according to the seller but I'll just wind it forward a bit where's a big pen when you okay oh that is interesting so, unlike uh, previous ones, this one actually, if we have a look at it, if we just get focus, there we go. So this one, you can see the tape in there is very dark, so this basically means that this one is recorded on, not on ferric tape, but uh, type 2. So one type 2 tape, which is chrome, so that's nice, so slightly better quality tape, at least. It doesn't actually say it's chrome, but it looks 
make sure like if I think is this one ferric kind of uh, what oh use the end of a fork yeah this one is uh, ferric as well not ferric uh, chrome type 2 I don't want to focus on me I want to focus on this there we go you can see that one there and I'm assuming the other one is um, I think the one the interview that was done now this makes more sense because basically chrome tape is more expensive but uh, basically it is better for interviews and stuff which is what these are um, the thing with ferric, ferric uh, does have a uh, better base whereas uh, chrome has better treble yeah this one again that. so basically um, I will be digitizing these um, basically since I can't find a CD of them anywhere so I will be digitizing them and uh, restoring them they should be good quality though um, uh, if I can just get out of the way um, what am I doing? but yeah I will uh, digitize these in fact you might even be able you probably already know about them by the time I'm doing um, this video actually comes out but I will scan the covers in but yeah so it is nice um, they cost me these two cost me six pound each and I think this one only cost me three but uh, yeah it's nice to have them because uh, they're not rare but uh, they're not particularly common either and to be honest these inserts yeah, I don't know. Anyway, nice to have in the collection. Come on, everyone. Why are you all afraid? He's coming to walk me. I'll bring you happiness. Freedom again. We won't need to be scared anymore. We should live exactly, exactly how we were supposed to live. No longer in fear anymore. I just letting the happiness out. Just let the happiness Who killed him? I killed him. Then someone will kill me. Then another will come. And then another after that. And another after that. And another after that. <laughs> I don't think I've got very long left. All I know is I have to kill him. And I did kill him. He's down there on the ground dead. But then another one will kill me. And he'll just keep going on. And on and done. It's just the way it happens. It's natural. It's just life. So just get on with it. Just keep doing it. Stabbed. Perhaps I should have let him finish. Oh well, another one dead. It's gonna be my turn next. I've filled, fulfilled this. I've done my part. There's nothing more I can do now. It's all it. Uh, oh well. Before then, I'm gonna have a bit of fun and uh, go off on my own accord. Um, I've had my freedom bit now. Now I can do what I want. What should I do, I wonder? What 
should I do? I have the very thing. Yeah. Please, please stop. You're gonna hurt everyone. Hurt me. Hurt it all. You're just gonna hurt more, more, more. Is that it? Just wanna hurt more. No, don't stop it. No, please. Look where you've got me. You've got me against a wall. Does that make you happy? Get me in this state. I hope it gets you really good in it. That's laughing it in your cars. You don't shake the laughing in this. And you're laughing because he thinks he's so good in it. I don't think he's good at all. I think he needs to get better. Oh, but I don't think he can get any better. So why would we bother in the first place? Why would you always in the first place? Because I don't fucking know. You don't know either. So we'll just keep on doing it. That's exactly what we're doing. And we'll do it to the end. Because that's just how we roll. Yeah. I personally think the biggest question of all this is, is why is anything anything? The point of anything? I mean, sometimes it's just to get a bit of fun out of things, you know? Just a bit of fun. That's all I'm really asking for in the end. Is that too much? Well, to some people in this life, it probably is. Because you're not allowed to have fun these days. Oh, no, no, no. Fun is just a perfusion. It's just a way of, um, well, just getting on with things, really. Fun is dead, isn't it, people, eh? That's what they believe, that's what the SKWs believe. Do you know, do you know, actually, it's like, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, the Puritans, that's what they are. That's what SKWs are, they're just like the Puritans. Nothing more than that. Is that seriously what we want to get back to, eh? Do we want to get back to a Puritan era? Is it? I mean, that's the way we're heading. Oh, you sure? Are you sure that is what you want, eh? <laughs> What's the point in living if living is no fun whatsoever? Because that's just it. That's just the way it all feels, all going. And all knowing, just going around, thinking around, coming around. It's all like a big, I don't know, mustard stain that you just can't remove. And to the point, you get to a point. And it's, it's getting to a point now where I just want to put things down, stop, and just go to the ground where there's nothing else. The leaves on there. Because maybe, just maybe, that would be something better. Even though we all know it may not be. It may all be false. And it may be a lie. Is it a lie to us? Don't know. Will I find out? Don't know. Oh. But this place is getting scary because there might be a white man from there. And they might be looking for me. Ooh, it's like what it is. Maybe, who could say? It's all a bit mental in the head. Do you not believe so, sir? No? Well, just keep going. I think I'll keep going all the way. Wahoo, look at me go. Not turn the world, just do everything. La da 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 Ha ha ha. It's all yeah, just a bit of fun in it. <laughs> Look, we go round the tree. We go round the tree. Have all the fun in the world. He he he. All it is. La da da. La da da. It must be amazing. 
It must be amazing. So amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Just simply amazing, breathtaking, incredible. Yes, all it is, happy little days, happy little ones. Are we all happy in there? No, our bags are just all wrapped up, thinking nothing bad could ever happen. Well, unfortunately, it can. It does. And you know what? It probably will. Oh well. Just how it is. Just just keep going with a little smile on yourself. Make just make life that you know that little bit better. And maybe it'll be better for everyone. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. I can't tell. It's all a bit crazy. It's like my mind has just gone in many places. It's all ripping apart together, going absolutely chaotic. Is that it? Chaotic advances. Uh, well, if it is what it is, let it be what it is. And if not so, then just go. I thank thee, bro. I thank thee. But uh, I have nothing left on the matter, so... Well, that might as well be the end! This blood is actually really... Look at that, look how... <laughs> this blood... is a year old, this blood. Those who have seen my other channel, it's actually... Um, a sealed packet of blood I got from Poundland last year. And just look at how sticky it is. It is literally dried on me. Oh, I'm going to have a nightmare getting this out of my beard. This knife, by the way, you're all right. Oh. It stinks, though. It really does fucking stink. Stop tormenting buzz. A little bugger, him, isn't he? Ah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I found any lorries. <laughs> <laughs> hmm.